think that I appreciate your time, and I would like to at this time introduce Coach Ray McCallum. Thank you, Autumn. Uh, we're excited for you this year as well. Uh, we're excited. Uh, we're excited about this year. I mean, I feel the buzz every day I walk into Call Callahan. I remember years ago to see the turnout we have right now, and uh, I can tell you that our, our players and our staff is very excited. So, great to see you here, John. Great to see you here, Bill. Uh, we appreciate it. And uh, Mike, uh, Mike Collin, we won't talk about Mike. Okay, Supervisor Fish. I mean, it was more than one call, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Don't turn red, Mike. Okay. Always so glad to take your call, red. All the time. All the time. Okay. Um, I want to recognize my staff, first of all. Uh, I'm, I've been very fortunate to, as we start our third year, to have our entire staff intact. And I, I think that we have not only one of the top staffs in the Horizon League, but we have one of the top staffs in the country. And, we're, and I'm very appreciative of the work that they do. Uh, Coach uh, Derek Thomas, you stand up, Derek. Uh, Coach Carlos Briggs and uh, Coach Jay Smith. All these guys have been head coaches and uh, uh, a real key to, to our success. Uh, I want to recognize uh, a couple of our players. Uh, first of all, uh, Chase Simon. We stand up, Chase. Chase will be a junior, 6'6", 210. The interesting thing about Chase, when he came to campus, he was 6'5", about 185. So, <laughs> in the right direction. Height and weight. Uh, and then Marcus Lowe. Watch your head, Marcus. Oh, really? <laughs> Marcus is 6'11", and a junior. And uh, we're excited to, uh, to see him perform for us this year. Um, I want to give a, a special thanks to uh, uh, Michael Joseph and, uh, and Kerry Gaither, our, our athletic director, uh, have been uh, very supportive in our move upward in the Horizon League, and they they get a lot of credit. So I, I really appreciate all you do for, for us and your commitment to uh, to athletics. Uh, I think with the momentum we have. Uh, it's just exciting for our team, our athletic department, and our university. That's the thing. Um, we uh, had a tremendous offseason uh, because of the help and support of those two. Our young guys were able to attend summer school and uh, be on campus, work with our strength and conditioning coach, grow and develop, play a lot of pickup games around here, and just build that chemistry. Um, so that really helps speed up the process as now we're in uh, into October and heading into November. Uh, so I always say you, you can be successful. You have successful teams because of, you know, the administration. And uh, so um, we give special thanks to you again. And that's why we can talk about where the coaches in this league, which we have outstanding coaches, uh, selected our basketball team to, it's all preseason prediction, but we predict a sec second in the Rising League by behind Butler University. All right, let's, let's get the job. See what I haven't done anything yet, <laughs> but uh, we, we plan to, 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 to do some, uh, some great things this year. Uh, I, I think with that, uh, you want to be respected by your peers, and uh, I think it's a credit to the effort that last year's team uh, put forth uh, we were a tough, physical, grinded out team. We were one of the top defensive teams in the league. If you look at the statistics, I mean, we were we didn't get pushed around. We were physical. We were tough, and competed very hard to get to the semifinals of the, the conference tournament. And I think with the way we competed last year, getting to the semifinals with that experience, and you have two starters returning, Chase Simon and, and Eli Holm. I, I think that's the respect that they have by the coaches in this conference. They were selected second team on conference players this year, which is great, but uh, it pisses them off because they weren't first team. So we got some hungry guys. And, uh, but uh, being selected second, having those two young men pick predicted to, uh, to perform at a second team level, uh, I think that uh, tells you a lot. 
about the returning guys. We have six juniors. Uh, the great thing about that is, uh, you know, you know, they should have another year. Uh, we have no seniors, so um, I, I, I kind of look at that as a positive as well. Uh, so we've got a, a young and inexperienced team that has been predicted second, but that can grow and grow and get better and better, and that's what we want to do. As we as we build a program, uh, I think players want challenges, and uh, our four freshmen uh, will will be able to participate and have that challenge. Um, we're going to have breakout sessions, so we'll talk about the guys individually, but we do have four freshmen and a sophomore. So we're a young team. Part of me kind of thinks that it was a setup to predict us second with all the top players returning, but uh, again, it's something that we, we really uh, are embracing. Uh, we just completed our first week of practice. The thing that we're looking at is learning with this team how hard you have to compete. I mean, we, we, we really compete hard in practice. And uh, we've had some, some very good practices, but we still don't know exactly how hard we have to compete. So I think on the second day of practice, Coach, uh, thinking that he's uh, about 15 years younger, gets out on the court and takes the charge. Let's, I let a guy run over me, Coach Thomas, with the ball. I pulled a hamstring. <laughs> No excuses. He rolled the ball on the floor. I don't want to lose ball. I have a hit point. <laughs> but hey, you know, if you're going to tell them how to do it, why not show them how to do it? So, uh, uh, but we are, we're, we're growing in that area. Uh, so we're going to challenge them because we know what's ahead. As, you, as John talk, talks about this league growing, we want to grow with the league. So what we what we've done is uh, put a challenging schedule out there that's going to make us better. And um, I think when television makes decisions to give us five uh, ESPN games, gives us four Fox games and, and, and TV shows and specials and all of that, it's because you know who we're going to play. So we're going to take our guys and put them in the pit, literally in the pit. So we're going to open up in New Mexico. And for you don't really follow basketball, their facility is called the Pit, Rich. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so we're putting our guys in the pit, 17,000 17, people there. And uh, Terry Tyler will be there, one of our famous alum. Give Terry a hand. <laughs> Who, uh, his home is in Albuquerque, and he's going to help put that scout report together. Yes, I will. That's <laughs> <That's> your victory. <laughs> Uh, but what a great opportunity. They put $60 million in the pit. And, and I, I've coached there. Uh, I know Coach Thomas was in the league out there. And, I mean, it's one of the finest places, exciting places in college basketball. So uh, we're starting right at the top. And then it gets a little bit easier. We're going to come back home from that trip from the Southwest, and we're going to take our guys to Syracuse <laughs> and play in the Carrier Dome. And uh, that seats about 30,000 people. How about that? You know, so opportunities is the way we look at it. We're going to open along with the uh, women, uh, November 19th, the doubleheader that I don't uh, mention. Uh, we open up against uh, uh, Indiana Tech. And then on Sunday, the 21st, we're going to uh, get on a plane and fly down to uh, Starksville, Mississippi. And uh, Terry, I don't know how you get there. <laughs> but uh, we're going to try to find our way. I think we fly to Memphis and uh, play Mississippi State. And, uh, you know, we're excited about that, to play at SEC Conference School. And, and the second part of that, they're going to return. I don't know if you knew, John, but they're going to return the next year. So we have them for one on, on one for one on a Saturday. So uh, what a great opportunity to start. Uh, like Autumn, we're going to play half the map. We're playing, we're playing five uh, schools in the back. And, um, and uh, those programs are really moving on. We're going to Bradley, which uh, is going to be a, a great game for us as, as well. So a challenging schedule. Uh, the conference uh, predictions, um, you know, we're excited about. We just want to uh, make that come true. Uh, because if you're in the top two on the men's side in, in this conference, that puts you right to the semifinals game. 
And uh, we got to that semifinal game, and it was a tough road. Our guys were true warriors, but we just kind of ran out of gas. If you're in the top two of this league, you get to that semifinal game, and then you're 40 minutes from uh, the NCAA tournament. And that's uh, what we're talking about with our team. So thank you all for coming out. Uh, I'll open up the floor for a couple questions, but again, we're going to be able to go into court and uh, we can have breakout sessions for one on ones. You're all welcome to, to hang around and, and watch practice as well. We'll get started with practice once the uh, uh, press conference is over, uh, it's over and uh, you can size up the guys and kind of see where we are. Okay? Thanks for being here.